Well, thanks for visiting us at arklatexhomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Morris with an update on the heat as well as our severe weather threat as we continue through the day on Monday. We've got an update from the Storm Prediction Center. They've kind of pulled that slight risk or the area that's more likely to see severe weather a little bit further to the south. So that now does include you folks in Texarkana. So anywhere along and north of I-30, that's where we could see a few scattered severe storms today. Damaging wind gusts will be the main threat for us, but we may see an isolated storm or two uh, perhaps bring up some hail as well as the potential for some flash flooding just given that we did see some heavy rain last week so a little more flash flood prone as we go through the next few days so look at what's happening this morning we've had some rain on going north of i-30 it's fizzling out rapidly so i don't think we'll see the rainfall early in the day amount to much you can see we do have a severe thunderstorm watch just to the north of us and a uh, severe thunderstorm all the way watch all the way up in missouri so it is possible at some point this afternoon this evening uh, we may see a severe thunderstorm watch for the Arkletex. It will be the cool air outflow from some of these thunderstorms to our north, uh, which will help to trigger some of the storms later today. So on a day like today, it's really hard to kind of pick out the exact timing. It's not like a cold front that we can see on radar a few hours away and then kind of time out the storms for you. It will be all just kind of depend on where we heat up and where that cool air outflow is a little bit later today. But I think Futurecast uh, has a pretty good handle, at least on the storms popping up here this afternoon. It may not be until much later this afternoon, this evening, and potentially even tonight that we do see more of a severe weather threat. But you can see this is 6 p.m. today. Pick out your corner of the Arkletex. We may have some rain nearby. Uh, so just prepare for some scattered rainfall later today. You see this line of storms right here. I'm starting to think that may be the primary severe weather threat for us. So it may not be until after sunset that we do see some of those strong storms move in. Uh, and again, the ingredients lighting up just right for that window to see some severe storms across the northern Arkletex. And this frontal boundary that's producing all this rain to the north of us, us. Uh, we'll be very close to the region for the next few days, so we very well could see these repeated rounds of thunderstorms, although uh, right now it looks like the severe weather threat will be a little bit lower for us Tuesday, Wednesday, but can't completely be ruled out, and it's one of those things. We'll just kind of take it on a day-by-day -day basis here as we uh, continue through the week since that frontal boundary will kind of be playing back and forth with us through at least Friday. Uh, one other thing I wanted to bring to your attention, you can see the latest run of future cast between now and uh, Wednesday morning, not including some of the rain that may fall Wednesday. It is showing uh, some heavy rain across the northern Arkansas. In fact, we could see some four to six inch accumulations according to future gas. Probably be a little bit lower than that, but it won't take much rain right now to kind of cause some flash flooding issues. So uh, be mindful of that in the upcoming days. We had some heavy rain associated with Hurricane Laura last week, and uh, any rain that falls on top of that really not helping the situation. So uh, I think we could see a flash flood threat develop here in the upcoming days. Also have a heat advisory for all of East Texas and Northwest Louisiana. Your feels like temperatures today, 105 to 110, but we should see a little bit of relief late this week, that cold front moving through in the Thursday to Friday time frame. So we'll keep, at least keep some of those scattered showers going through Friday, but we should have temperature drop Friday, Saturday, and uh, I think more importantly than that, a humidity drop Friday and Saturday, so at least a few comfortable days to look forward to later this week.